Okay, today I want to show you how to install the um, uh, new indicator for the range bars. Uh, we'll start from installing the range bars indicator file. So first what you have to do is place the indicator file in the experts indicators folder. Um, this can be done easily by uh, right clicking the uh, MetaTrader icon and selecting open containing folder which is the second entry uh, from the top. Next you gotta go into the experts indicators folder and uh, what you gotta do is simply drag the range bar chart indicator into that folder and drop it. Okay, uh, you gotta continue Okay. Now you have that indicator file installed in your MetaTrader terminal. Okay, next we open the terminal. Now it's very important to first go into the uh, tools options and um, next go into the expert advisors tab, which is open here. Uh, you gotta have you gotta select allow, allow live trading and allow DLL imports. You can uh, cancel that confirm DLL calls so you don't get a message each time you uh, bring up a chart window. Okay, next click OK. Now uh, what you have to do is open a one minute chart of your choice. Uh, we got the British pound US dollar open here, it's, as you can see, one minute. Now you gotta apply the indicator. You should be able to see the indicator in the custom. Just clean this up, okay? In the custom indicators tree, and um, there it is, range bar chart. Okay, um, now you apply it by dragging it to the um, chart, and you have to set the input values. Okay, the first uh, the the first value is called range. This is actually where you define the number of uh, pips for each bar. Let's make that 13 here. The output time frame, which is the offline chart time frame, which will be used to build the range bar chart. Uh, we'll leave that as a two minute chart. Um, next, you have a setting here, five digit broker. Set this to true if your broker is uh, five digit, has five digit quotes. You can check that here. It's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's five digit broker. Uh, if you had four decimal places here, uh, you'd set that to um, to false. Disable comment. Uh, we'll leave that on for now. This will just give you an information screen as soon as the uh, indicator is set up. Next, you have a refresh window and on ask price uh, change. Yeah, change. Um, set this to true if you'll be using the ask uh, price line on your chart. And if not, just leave that false. Okay, you won't probably you probably won't need that anyway. Um, next, you got render using uh, one minute history bars. Uh, this defines the number of one minute bars that should be used to render the uh, historical range bar. Historical range bars. Uh, if you don't want to limit this uh, to a special amount of a certain amount of um, bars, simply uh, enter zero here, and the indicator will build uh, the entire history into range bars. Uh, this is a new setting here. Um, this, it's called uh, Sound Signal on New Bar. Here you have the uh, WAV file. Uh, if you don't want a tick sound to be played each time a new bar range or a new range bar is open, uh, simply uh, leave this blank or enter a different uh, WAV file name if you don't like the tick sound. Uh, just make sure that the selected sound file is located in your sounds folder. Okay, now we just have to double check if the comment tab has the following uh, has the following DLL imports uh, enabled. Okay, that's okay. And uh, as you can see we got the information screen for live 13 pip range of our charts open the offline chart for a pound dollar and two that's two minute chart. Mm, okay now we have to go into the file open offline and select the securities time frame we'll be using. Uh, this is the M2 2 minute. Open. 
uh, and now what we've got here is a range bar chart historical data built for us this is a 13 pip bar for each candle and you could use this for live trading uh, today is actually Saturday so we don't have new ticks but uh, during the week this this ticks and gives you uh, live quotes the whole time and builds the, um, the subsequent bars uh, what you can do now is you can just you, you know you can just apply uh, any indicators you like to this to work correctly you can also just um, set up a template when defined here okay, and you're ready to go um, now that you have that properly working bar, what you can do is, um, is if you wish to set up a um, different range bar for the same uh, security, what you do is you can apply apply a second copy of the indicator here, okay, with different settings. Now, the most important settings here are the uh, range and output time frame. The output time frame is the trickiest one. Uh, this can be actually set to any value other than the predefined uh, MetaTrader 4 time frames, which are all listed here. You get the 1, 5, 15, 30, then you get the 60, which is 1 hour, and uh, so on. Okay, yeah, so you won't be using these. Uh, so let's just go to the next available one, which is 3. Okay, and we'll leave that. Six uh, pip range bars. Okay, uh, we don't want the ticks for this one. Okay, and now we have a six pip range bar chart on the um, as you can see here M3 three minute. See, so just uh, do the same. You know, you can see here you got the two minute, and three minute, three minute is the new one. You open it. And uh, now what you have is this is your 13 range bar and this is your 6 range bar and they'll all be ticking and updating correctly now. So if you go double check here, check the indicators, um, check the indicators loaded onto this chart you can see you got two. The first one is a 13 on the 2 minute and the second one is the uh, six on the three minute. Okay, and that's a properly set up uh, range bar chart, multiple chart for one uh, security. Okay, thanks a lot.